here again with Chuck Westfall, who's going to show us these new lenses. Uh, we've got a couple of big ones here. Chuck, you want to tell us about these? Sure, thanks. Uh, we've got actually two new L-series telephoto lenses, the EF 200mm F2L and the EF 800mm F5.6L. Both of them have the optical image stabilization technology built in. Um, these are lenses that were shown as development concept last October, but here at the PMA show, we're announcing the uh, pricing and availability. Uh, the 200 millimeter lens is going to be coming out in April um, at a retail price of approximately $5,999. We also have the uh, 800 millimeter lens coming out uh, during the month of uh, May and uh, uh, for about a retail of roughly $11,999. Now, these are obviously top end pro lenses. In fact, uh, the 800 millimeter lens is really uh, designed for long-range photography of things like sporting events, like for example at this coming uh, year's uh, Beijing Olympics, uh, but also a very, very useful lens for wildlife photography, bird photography, uh, situations where you can't physically get close to the subject or you don't want to to make sure that you're not disturbing it. Uh, it's a very, very uh, interesting lens. It's, it's actually over two pounds lighter than the 600 millimeter F4L, which makes it a, a lot easier to work with. Um, and uh, it's about the same length, so they were able to do quite a lot in terms of optical engineering and also mechanical engineering on the magnesium alloy lens barrel to make that happen. And tell me about, a little bit more about the, the F2 lens here as well. Yeah, the 200 F2 lens is actually the follow-up to a very successful lens we had for many years, the uh, EF 200mm F1.8 L. Uh, and what we're going with here is a lens that again is lighter and uh, is, I'd say really that's the main difference uh, in terms of, this, of the physical attribute. but. Uh, it's also got the image stabilization. Uh, this is a lens that's ideal for indoor sports and it can also be used for uh, portraiture or wedding photography as well. And what is the approximation on the uh, stabilization factor for the, for the two of them? Yeah, these have got the latest generation of our uh, stabilization technology that's good for up to four full shutter speed steps. So uh, it's really uh, you know, a very effective uh, stabilization method that you have there. Um, and also uh, these, these lenses are uh, uh, state-of-the-art in terms of the image quality, you know, the sharpness that you're getting here because they both have fluorite and ultra-low dispersion glass. So Chuck, you also wanted to tell me about this AF stop button and... Uh... Yeah, this is a feature actually that uh, is kind of universal in our IS Super Telephoto lineup and uh, it's a set of buttons around the lens, you can see it as you look towards the front of it, that uh, basically uh, originally was designed so that as a photographer was shooting that uh, if a, um, another subject came in front of what he was originally shooting that you press the button and it would stop focus temporarily. But we've now taken that concept and actually worked on it and uh, there's custom function in the camera that has about six different possible ways of using that. So you could do things like toggle back and forth between one shot and servo or uh, use that to, to control whether the image stabilizer is on and off. Uh, as well as the AF functions that, uh, that are normally there. So it's a very versatile uh, way of using the equipment. And there's this other little ring around the outside, or between the two, the two focus rings, the black rings. Yeah, actually what we have there is it's, uh, it's called a playback ring. And uh, the idea is that uh, there's many situations uh, where professional photographers are basically uh, constantly shifting between a subject that's at X distance away versus another one that's at Y distance away. So what you could do is you can basically push a button on the lens to memorize, say for example, the X distance. Uh, and then you can be shooting away at the Y distance and uh, if the subject all of a sudden shifts over to the X position, then you just turn that ring and it immediately jumps back to that memorized spot. So it's like an instant playback of your memorized focus position. Okay, so that's an electronic deal. You just turn it a little bit and it goes from straight where you need to be. Right, and it really saves a lot of time and is much more precise than, uh, than basically, uh, you know, depending on the autofocus to do everything. So for our SLR gear readers, when do you think we'll have these in, a, in, in the lab to uh, test? Well, we hope that uh, we'll be able to uh, ship over the 200 millimeter lens first, and that'll probably happen during the month of April. Uh, and uh, the 800 millimeter lens is scheduled to follow about a month later. Okay, great. Thanks very much. Sure. Thanks, Jim.